a material to world. A cheap horse, a material damn world. Hey, I can't control what I inherit. But you can control what you do with it. I know. I know, which hey is exactly give you a why I'm considering. For heroic oh, deeds, but you're the madam... You're always well, considering. You know. If it's not one thing, it's another. Let me know when you finally decide. I haven't the strength, Geralt. It's a material world. Perhaps you can talk some sense and into him. Material girl. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. How can I help you? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? Knew I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need... to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate... parting. But with a touch of help from you... I know she'll forgive me, and then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena, one of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What'll you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Oh, my Newman left me a gift love. Got a minute? For you, my friend, always. <laughs> Gotta tell me, how do you wind up owning this? Establishment. <laughs> You'll never believe this. I inherited it from none other than Alonzo Wiley, Horson Senior himself. You're right. I don't believe it. Alonzo ruled the local underworld with an iron fist, but deep down, he was a romantic, pure as they come. This place is one of the reasons his son's not my biggest fan. See, Cyprian Jr., that is, wanted to make this a brothel, but the rosemary went to me, and I planned to turn it into the most elegant venue in town, a den of art and culture. How do you and Priscilla meet? Huh. It was at the court of Duke Hereward, the annual balladry contest. We faced off in the final. Who won? I don't remember. I bet. Probably lost and you don't want to admit it. Actually, she'd caught my eye, so I let her win. I was counting on getting a prize after the contest. And? Did you? <laughs> that, my friend, is not your concern. Ran into Molly. She says hello. Molly? Oh, man, Which man, Molly? One you promised to show your butterfly collection to. Ah, yes. Now I remember. Butterfly collection? You of all people could stand to be a little more inventive. Molly didn't need inventive. She needed attentive. Average, run-of-the-mill girl. But give her a smile, 
notice her shoes, let her chat about them a bit, and she'd turn into a wellspring of passion. Got a portrait of Hierarch Hemelfart I'm willing to part with. Want it? Yes, those halfling painters. This one of theirs? Uh, mm -hmm. Wonderful. I put this up at the Rosemary in time. It'll make those temple guard inspections so much easier. See you, Dandelion. <laughs> Old man Newman left me a gift last time. What? He never given me nothing but floppy diddly. How are things, Dudu? So, so, I suppose. Might have been days in the past when I'd have said, wonderful. But I can't complain. I'm in one piece. Not bound to a stake atop a pyre. Ever considered leaving? Forgetting Novigrad altogether? What for? To pass from the frying pan into the fire? The war's not yet crept here. Famine's not kicked at our door. Not that the future's looking rosy. But you don't have to be human. Maybe you could try something else. I've assumed many forms over the years, and in spite of all, life as a human has proven most interesting. After all, you humans rule the world. Gotta admit, you're Menga. It's a brilliant impersonation. Don't remind me. I'm rather disgusted. Come on, he wasn't all out terrible. You understand nothing. A Doppler assumes more than a man's external appearance. I've learned what a scoundrel had knocking about in his head. Once I became him, not an hour passed before I felt the urge to break her sorceress's fingers. After two, I caught myself lusting to impale someone, and immediately after that, it hit me. The paranoid fear of a Doppler conspiracy. Dudu, tell me. The halfling Bibervelt goes from being a prosperous merchant to being a pauper. How? Prefer the long version or the short? Short, please. The war. I was under the impression merchants grow fat on wars. Some do, but I have a serious personality flaw. I'm honest. I could not reap profits from the suffering of others. I paid taxes. I never cooked my books. And then a ship full of my goods sank. I pulled through somehow, but then a second fell prey to Skelligan raiders, rendering me insolvent. When inflation hit and interest rates rose, I, at long last, fell. Take care of yourself, Dudu. Oh, those bigots haven't the cunning to strip me of this mask. We can go at it here, or at my place. 